Now, from the GEICO Sports Desk, Sean Robertson. We begin tonight's feel-good edition with college hoops. And in the long-standing rivalry between VCU and Richmond, they've only met in a conference tournament four times, with the Rams winning all four. And never before had they played with a trip to the title game at stake until today. Third time the city rivals have met this year. Rams swept the season series. First half, DeMonte Buckingham plays beat the shot clock, hits the triple finish with 26. Richmond down one, under seven to go. Quan four, showing off his hops. 13 and nine boards for him. Right before the half, Johnny Williams says, I can slam as well. VCU up second half. Samir Dowdy for VCU. The bucket and the bump. 17 on the afternoon. VCU up 57-53. Under a minute to go. Tied at 68. Not for long. Nick Sherrod. Three of his 15. Richmond up three with 36 ticks left. Enough time for Jaquan Lewis and VCU to come right back. Rings it up from distance. He had 18. Tied at 71 going into overtime. In the extra session, all VCU. Justin Tillman, another double-double, 11 and 14 boards. VCU outscored Richmond 16 to 6 in overtime to win 87 to 77 to play Rhode Island in the title game. Lane Casadante continues our coverage from Pittsburgh. Saturday's third meeting of the season between VCU and Richmond was as close as it could be for 40 minutes, with the Rams dominating inside and the Spiders connecting outside. Nick Sharon and Jaquan Lewis traded threes in the final minute, but once it got to OT, the Rams knew they would prevail. I missed a bunny, but then I got the offensive rebound. I went back up, he scored. He scrapped out a loose ball, Samir scored, and you can kind of see we were taking their will little by little. We did a good job of staying connected. You know, they had their runs, and we could have got down on ourselves and gave up, especially when they hit that three. I mean, it just shows how how deep our team is. You know, a lot of a lot of players stepped up today. Those are moments you dream of, and he, Lewis made a big shot, and unfortunately, we're on the wrong side of March Madness. Now VCU gets a Rhode Island team that beat them last month and one that likely needs a championship to make the NCAA tournament, while VCU is all but assured of a spot, win or lose. This is all about who wants it more, who plays the toughest. You know, it's going to be a physical game. It's going to be a fast game. I was proud of our guys. We didn't play our best. We got a little out of whack, shot too many jump shots. But when it counted, we were able to get that thing in the paint, get that thing to the rim, and made some winning plays. This will be VCU's fifth straight appearance in the A-10 title game and their seventh straight conference title game overall, dating back to their final year in the CAA. You can see the A-10 final right here on CBS 6, tipping off Sunday afternoon at 1230. From the A-10 Championship in Pittsburgh, Lane Casadante, CBS 6 Sports. We got more college hoops. Virginia Union in the Division II tournament for the first time in 11 years, taking on Shippensburg in the Atlantic region. First half, Union gets the steal, and Jordan White will come up with the basket and the foul for Union, but they were down 11 after the free throw. Less than five minutes later, Dustin Selva knocks down one of his five three-pointers in the game. He finished with 20 as the Raiders advanced after a 79-59 win over Union. Panthers finish the season 22-8. We move to the women's game. The Lady Panthers trying to advance to the Atlantic Regional Final as they met Indiana of Pennsylvania. Third quarter, Jada Lucky, three ball corner pocket. She had 12, Union up eight, but then Rachel Pakoda would take over. Connecting on three triples in the second half, she had a game high, or rather team high 17. The Lady Panthers will play in the regional final on Monday after a 62-58 win. 